Do you want to control your genes? Or can we really control our genes? Actually, yes. How? Epigenetics will tell us. Think it as a piano. Along with its keys, what sound it makes is decided by something more. Our fingers. DNA has keys and epigenetic marks decide when to play what. What are these epigenetic marks and how do they play? They play majorly in two ways. First, DNA methylation. DNA is a master molecule. Reason is, it has instructions and it messages instructions to form proteins and character like color of skin is expressed. But when molecule like methyl binds to DNA, it can't send message and character is unexpressed. Have you noticed? Color of skin just changed. Second way is relation between DNA and others. DNA, as you just thought, might be a wrong picture because it doesn't exist as a long helix in our cells. Instead, it's like this or you can get it like this. DNA is wrapped around histones for what? To keep DNA quiet in 400,000 times smaller nucleus. But when the packaging is tight, DNA cannot send message and form proteins. And when packaging is loose, DNA can send message and form proteins. But what decides loose or tight? The number and type of molecules that bind to histones. Say these pins are the marks. They will loosen or tighten according to the number and type. You can call them epigenetic marks. These epigenetic marks are influenced by our environment, our habits, our behavior, and they are constantly accumulating. Your body has same DNA and different cells. Reason is epigenetics. The twist. Some of the epigenetic marks are reversible. And this is a great possibility as it creates new approach to treatments for complex disorders including cancer. To understand one of epigenetic treatments of cancer, let's go to video start. Cancer is uncontrolled cell division. Consider it as fast moving car and toll booth as tumor suppressor gene which stop cancer cells. Say red tag loosens grip and green tightens it. If either of them gets abnormal arrangement, you can't stop the car. Mostly it is abnormal hypermethylation or simply abnormal tightening. So, what we have to do is bring this abnormal arrangement to normal. Arrangements matter like this. And when we rearrange them to normal, the car stops. Although it's challenging to identify these marks for particular diseases, developments are promising. And epigenetics is empowering. As it tells us we are not a compact result but a continuous growing process. We just don't inherit biology but we can also impact it. Now here's a challenge for you. Start something today that will positively affect your epigenome.